We will take the first question from Willie Weinbell. Hi, Novak. Congratulations. Thank I you. didn't necessarily mean this to be the first question because it's not about today's match or even the next one. It's more of an overview. What's it been like to be something of the bad guy chasing after Roger and Rafa all these years? I don't consider myself a bad guy, but I mean, it's your opinion, but uh, I'm not chasing anybody. I'm making my own path and my own journey and, you know, my own history. So I'm privileged to be part of the history of this sport that I, that I love. And as I said on the court, I, you know, um, I know about a lot of stats. I don't know about all of them, but they do motivate me even more, you know, to, to play my best tennis at the, the, the events that count the most in our sport. Mike Dixon. Thank you. Um, hi, Novak. You, I noticed that uh, beneath where we were sitting, which is kind of opposite the Royal Box End, um, around the sort of end of the first set, you were kind of flexing your shoulders a bit. And I was wondering if that was any discomfort or if it was just the wind, because this, the wind seemed to be sort of more difficult down that end of the court. Yeah, no, no, no discomfort, physical discomfort. I feel feel great. Uh, obviously, a few times that I slipped and sort of flashiness. Uh, what do you think of him? What do you think he's done to solidify himself into being a, a more consistent threat at this this level? Uh, well, I think he's going to answer that question better. You know what what kind of um, affected positively his game and his performance. So he goes very deep in the tournament. Uh, he has been. Uh, consistent with the success and on, on the tour in the last couple of years, top 20, top 15 in the world. Although people do expected him to probably um, go into top 10 or maybe top five and be one of the the leaders of the next gen, and which he is. But uh, maybe big matches, uh, he was not winning those big matches uh, in the last couple of years, and it seems like he's maturing, which is also something that is normal it's logical it, you would expect that from a, uh, a player like him that has really an all-around game uh, huge serve uh, lefty which is always tricky you know to play someone who is left-handed on the quick surfaces he's comfortable coming into a net and I, I, I think his movement uh, has improved and you know he's well, due to, to better movement probably making less less errors which you know he it was probably the part of his game that was always troubling him, and we played a a, a, a tight two set uh, two sets this year in ATP Cup, which was the first opening uh, official match for both him and I of the season, and uh, the courts at Australian Open are were quick pretty quick this year, so I could get a little bit of a of a you know uh, an understanding of how well he's serving if he's serving well you know how difficult it is to play against him and uh, you know you don't get too many opportunities on his service game so especially here on grass uh, I've seen him play against Murray he, he's he's really feeling great I mean he's it's it's impressive the way he's been playing probably the ball gets to him on on grass he doesn't bounce as much so he can go he can swing through the ball I think back end was also working really well uh, what I saw today and some important moments yeah I mean uh, I'm sure that uh, that that's going to be the big biggest test I I, I, um, I will have so far in the tournament and which is also expected it's semi-finals um, you know I'm looking forward to it it's going to be a, a battle and I need to be at my best Matthias Yes, uh, congratulations, Novak. Uh, you had that flying start today, led 5 love in, in the first set, and then uh, he won three games in a row, I believe. It was kind of the only blip uh, in the match almost. Was there something in, in particular that, that you struggled with at that point? And uh, when it comes to the wind and the windy conditions, what's what's the biggest challenge in playing in those conditions on grass? Is there anything any, in particular that you, that you need to do to adjust? Well, it's the rhythm, it's the tempo. Uh of your ground strokes of your, the toss for the serve i mean it's it's obviously everything is uh, disrupted in a way uh, in terms of um, you know how you've been probably warming up and feeling you know on the different court uh, the same day once you step out on the on the, on the center court it's an obviously a different feeling but i feel i felt like uh, last last 
couple matches it has been pretty windy as particularly today so i you know i think it's um it's both mental and 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 also biomechanical um challenge on the court because sometimes you know if you are not feeling comfortable to go for your shots you you're a bit tight uh you know your legs stop moving and if the legs stop moving on 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 the windy day like this uh, you, you're going to be in a lot of trouble and you, you have to pray to 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 serve well um so yeah it was kind of up and down i thought i i, I played extremely well first five six games I had a couple of set points and five love five one also a couple of set points and then some long games but you know overall i i feel like uh, i've been playing hitting the ball well throughout the entire tournament putting myself exactly where i want to be semi-finals not spending too much energy and uh you know now now i, I really have to you know be consistent from the first to the last point in, in next match and hopefully a, another one on sunday tony banks I know that. Congratulations on your on your win. You mentioned there that you have managed to conserve some energy. Um, you've only dropped one set um, on the way to this stage. Um, would you have preferred to have had a, a longer match at some point along the way, or you know, just to give you a test on that front? Or are you happy that it's been you know mostly three set victories so far, apart from the first round? I'm I'm pleased that uh, that it, it was as it was. I, I don't really, you know, regret for not playing longer on the court. I mean, I, I said that I had enough match play. You know, obviously, uh, different surface in Roland Garros, but you know, a lot of different match play that um, in the last couple of months that uh, you know put me in the right frame of mind. I think for for what's coming up, and uh, I had enough training on grass. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the way I've been feeling and hitting the ball. As I said, I'm conf confident, and I don't, I don't need any extra time on the court. To be honest, uh, actually, in contrary, I want to stay as less as possible and conserve energy for the most important matches. Thank you. That's all we have time. For.